Hi, this is Hunter's Ridge Apiary. Uh, in the middle of November now, uh, this is one of several pallets I brought home yesterday. Uh, the pine one by fours, very nice, a little dirty, but very nice. The top ones are quite clean. And two by fours. This is seven foot long. Uh, this is the basic pallet I use to make hive stands. I take two rails, space them with about a 12 inch 2x4 between them, screw them or nail them together and set them on cinder blocks and you've got a hive stand. And this is what we got from that pine pallet. Got three nice 7 foot 2x4s and uh, seven nice clean 1x4s. Some of them are really nice. Rust on one side, sanded on the other. Some of them are a little dirty, but that'll sand off. Uh, these can be used for just about anything. Pine is great to work with. When you're going after a pallet, pine is always my choice because it's soft wood, the nails are easy to pull out, and I always look for a new pallet that doesn't have the nails rusted into it yet. So I pulled all the nails out of all this very easily. I knocked the boards off with a hammer. Easy as pie. This pallet, on the other hand, is all oak. Uh, I have no use for these boards. Sometimes I take my steel saw, cut them off like that. Knock the pieces off with a hammer. I might be able to just bust these up and get them off without sawing them. All I want is the oak 2x4s for a hive stand. The wood, uh, if it's no nails, it goes in the fireplace. If it's got nails, it goes in my incinerator. Works good either way. I'm a little low on incinerator wood right now. This is going to be a job getting this one apart. Well, we're done with the oak pallet. Uh, I'm going to a pile of firewood over here with nails in it. That goes in the incinerator to fire it. Uh, you got to have use for this stuff, otherwise it builds up. These are my three oak 2x4s. A lot of nails left in them from where I busted the boards off. And uh, I try to pull them out. If I can't pull them out, I pound them in. But you want to make sure you pound them in really good so they don't catch on your bottom boards of your hives if you're making a hive stand. This board here is got a little problem, but the rest of it's okay. It'll make nice crossbars between these two. I space these about 12 inches apart, put two by fours, usually three, two by fours for crossbars. This is one of the finished products made with scrap lumber. Here's another one. And there's one that I use. It holds a lot of weight. This is what you can make with a four foot pallet. Take the boards off the top, take the three rails, cut one up, you're in business.